Here we go guys, time to shake and bake. A little winter island excursion. Coming at you from Hyannis, Steamship Authority. Ferries in place, just gonna go buy the tickets and get on. Fasten your seatbelts guys, we're going to Nantucket in midwinter. Leave the car in the lot, and the winter rate, it's only $5 a day. And I got all the heavy machinery lined up making the trip to Nantucket. It is 2.30 now, the ship leaves at 2.45. Just enough time to hit up the ticket office, hit up the bathroom, take a little walk around, see what we got brewing. Nice little map here of downtown Hyannis. Ferry schedule here, and we're gonna check out the ticket office. They got the threat level, we are elevated guys, so gonna take some extra precautions today. All the tourist attractions around here. Here it is, the ticket office. Really, really nice building. 10 ride pass, get a little discount maybe. Eagle's Nest snack shop, budget rent-a-car, Nantucket Fair. There's 1850. Not too bad. And got the all round trip ticket. 1850 each way. Good for a year from Hyannis to Nantucket. Just in the waiting area, as you can see. Real busy day. Plenty of room. This is the time to travel midwinter going to Nantucket. But it is nice, guys. I would say it is in the 40s today. It's a lot warmer than it could be. Nice time to experience Hyannis and Nantucket without the crowds. So come along for the ride. Some of the restaurants, hotels, snack bars may be closed, but that's okay. Sometimes you gotta create your own adventure and that's what we're gonna do. At least we got the old machine going here. $1.50 for a bag of chips, not too bad. They do have a cafe on the ferry. Looking forward to that. Gonna get a piping hot cup of tea and maybe a little piece of cake or a cookie. So just gonna wait for the boarding call and get on. Here we go, getting ready to board the Eagle. Not a lot going on here. Gonna be a nice leisurely ride, no winds. The seas look Calm. Here we go. So we just walked on. I guess we want to go to the passenger deck. It says the lunch room is up there. There's an elevator. I think we can handle the stairs though. Yeah, there we go. You guys see that sign? Motor Vehicle Eagle built in 1986. Built in Louisiana. Maybe get a booth with a water view. Some pretty cool old historical photos here. And leaving any minute, guys, it's almost 2.45, about to head from Hyannis out to Nantucket. Just wanted to read you guys some information from the Steamship Authority website. The Steamship Authority is the largest ferry service to the islands of Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket from Cape Cod. We offer the lowest fares and the most frequent departures for passengers, automobiles, groups, and trucks. Advanced reservations are required for all vehicle travel. Martha's Vineyard ferries depart from Woods Hole and Nantucket ferries depart from Hyannis. Hyannis. Our seasonal high-speed passenger ferry, the NV Ionaut, gets you to Nantucket dock to dock in just an hour. Since 1960, we have been the lifeline to the islands year-round. Our U.S. Coast Guard certified crews are committed to the highest level of safety at sea. We're also dedicated to making your trip both comfortable and convenient with spacious seating, snack bars, with beverages including beer, wine, and mixed drinks, and free Wi-Fi and TV on board. For a perfect day trip or longer getaway, Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket make wonderful destinations with magnificent beaches, charming scenery, and fabulous shopping and dining. Visitors can take advantage of convenient public transportation to our mainland docks and bus service as well as taxis, car rentals, and bike rentals on the islands. Some information from Wikipedia. The Steamship Authority, officially the Woods Hole, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket Steamship Authority, is the statutory regulatory body for all ferry operations to and from the islands from the Massachusetts mainland. The Steamship Authority is the only ferry operator to carry automobiles to the islands. Getting those engines fired up, guys. Here we go. Putting the steam in Steamship. The Authority also operates several freight vessels, thus serving as the main link for shipping any commercial goods to Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket that are not transported by air. The present Woods Hole Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket Steamship Authority was formed from the New Bedford Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket Steamboat Company, 
which in turn was a consolidation of earlier companies dating to the early 19th century. Year-round passenger and auto ferry as well as freight services operated to Nantucket from the mainland terminal in Hyannis, Massachusetts. Sailing time to Nantucket takes approximately 2 hours and 15 minutes. A one-hour passenger-only catamaran service is operated with the new MV Ionaut from mid-April through late December from Hyannis to Nantucket. The Steamship Authority currently operates 10 vessels. Six are used predominantly for transport of passengers and personal cargo. Five of these are auto passenger ferries featuring roll-on, roll-off ramps for cars traveling to the islands as well as climate-controlled seating and a bar and concession stand for passengers. And leaving Hyannis, guys, some comments from Yelp. Well, this is how you get to and from Martha's Vineyard, so you sort of have to be a fan. In warm weather, they leave the port often, so even if you miss the one you thought you wanted, another boat will be along soon. It's a quick ride, there and back again. There is copious parking, but finding your car on the way back was a bear. The height of summer, the ticketing line is huge, winding into the loading area, so be sure to go there first thing in the morning. Surprisingly smooth. Queue up in your car, drive on, walk around the ferry, get back in your car, then drive off. Seriously it's the only civilized way to get to the vineyard. Martha's Vineyard is a cool island that sits about seven miles off Cape Cod. There are several ways to get there. You can take a plane, take your own boat, swim, or take the Steamship Authority Ferry from Woods Hole. The staff really hustles to ensure you embark and disembark in an orderly fashion. Trust me, this could be a very difficult task with so many New Yorkers and Bostonians all jostling to get on board first. The biggest drawback about the steamship is the fact that some passengers passengers don't read the signs telling them where to park. The reason this is a drawback is because those same people usually are the grumpy passengers on the boat. Just a quick shot of some of the offerings here. Hot drinks, cold drinks, snacks, sandwiches, muffins, beverages. Gonna go with a cup of tea. It's a little bit chilly. Got the old New England tea brand and a cookie with M&M's and chocolate chips in it. Kind of like buffet style, serve yourself. So head over to the hot water. Oops. Got some pretzels floating around there. Just gonna show you guys the full menu. Cookies, chips, pretzels, a deli, breakfast sandwiches. Check out the sunrise specials. Guys, almost halfway through the journey, just stepping out for some fresh air. And the seas are a little bit rougher than they look. Oh! So I think the fresh air is going to be the thing that's going to help me out right about now. Got a little headache going, but what are you going to do? Not sure how fast we're going. See these waves just rolling in here. And the boat is going up and down, up and down. Not too fierce, but just enough to keep you a little off balance. No other ships or boats on the horizon, just some birds here and there. And this is what you get going to Nantucket in midwinter. The top of the ship is completely empty. Just got the pilot house up there. You could have a football game up here if you wanted to. Let's get the 360 degree view. Oh, there he is, the captain up there. How you doing? See land, Hyannis, way back there. And maybe that's looking over towards, I don't know, New Bedford over here and another island and that looks like Nantucket or Martha's Vineyard I can't tell lost all my bearings here but we're making progress about halfway through the journey and you can really tell how we're bobbing up and down look at these two white barrels here on the side and look at that in relation to the shoreline although it's not that bad you probably don't want to eat a big meal and then get on one of these ships Almost there guys, pulling into Nantucket, maybe about five minutes away. Got a ferry maybe 10% filled with half asleep people. Quick journey, didn't see too many other boats out there at all. And there it is guys, just zoom in. Sleepy town, winter in Nantucket. Gonna take this place by storm. Phones and charges with you, anything else that you're not taking with you. Place in the trash on your way off. Drivers and passengers are all asked to go to your cars and trucks on the vehicle back now. No smoking and do not start your engines until asked to do so by the crew after docking. Passengers walking off use the gangway on the starboard or right hand side, same side. 
Same level where you came aboard. All passengers watch your steps on the stairs. Use the hand railing to stay off any stairs as we dock. Thank you again. You're welcome. Backing it right in here. And just heading from the boat to land. Car's getting off. Just get a quick shot of the ferry landing in the middle of winter. A few cars here, a little action. A couple of cars getting off the ferry. A couple of taxis waiting around, but pretty quiet. I think they roll up the sidewalks here in the winter. Winter in Nantucket, ferry just arriving from the mainland. The people are gonna get off and we're gonna get on. See how busy it is compared to the ride over. In there like clockwork, smooth landing. Here it is, Steamship Authority Headquarters. Winter in Nantucket. Still got, surprisingly, quite a few cars there. Got some trucks, the old stop and shop truck. Making deliveries out here, and the ship ready to go. Nice little waiting area and room with a view. Buy our tickets right here. Got some pretty cool pictures here. Winter in Nantucket, setting sail to Hyannis. And again, the crowd is light. Nobody on the ferries these days. That's why winter in Nantucket, it's the best time to come and visit. The weather is beautiful today, about 48 degrees. Sun, not a lot of wind. Very competitive rates for the hotels, bed and breakfast. A lot of stuff is closed, but there are a lot of restaurants and bars that are still open, catering to that locals crowd that lives here all year round. A lot of work going on in the off season. You can see the white elephant there. Looks like they're replacing the roof. A lot of construction going on. The properties around the island. Not too many boats though. Empty streets. Get that feeling of Nantucket as it was before it became a tourist trap. Before it became a vacation place for people from New York and Boston. Back when life was simple. So thanks for watching. If you like this video of the Steamship Authority from Hyannis to Nantucket, hit that like button. Please comment. I respond to all comments and suggestions. That's how I get ideas about new videos to make. If you really like this video, then please subscribe. And I think this is where we speed up. This is the Grand Point Lighthouse. I think once we pass this little area, then they really step on the gas. See if we can hear it from the engines here. Come on, floor it. Passing the lighthouse. Should be right about now. Should be right about now. Oh. Jumping the gun there a little bit. Should be right about.